But you know, you know who didn't stand by? You know who did nothing while Trump, Texas, and others were trying to wipe out every single one of the almost 5 million votes you had cast here in Georgia in November? Your two Republican senators, they stood by. In fact, your two Republican senators fully embraced what Texans were telling the Supreme Court. They fully embraced nullifying nearly 5 million Georgia votes. You might want to remember that come January 5th. Now, I'll try to be generous here in the spirit of the season. Maybe your senators were just confused. Maybe they think they represent Texas. Well, if you want to do the bidding of Texas, you should be running in Texas, not in Georgia. Because you know what? You got a couple of folks running for the United States Senate in this state who aren't confused at all. John Ossoff, Raphael Warnock, they're running to represent Georgia. Georgia. They'll actually fight for you, represent you, stand up for you. They won't put Texas first. They won't put Donald Trump first. They won't put themselves first either. <clears throat> They'll put you first, the people of Georgia. There's no doubt in my mind, none, none, that if Texas or Trump or anyone else in the United States Senate tries to do anything except respect the will of the people of Georgia, they'll move heaven and earth to stop them. Folks, you know, you all did something extraordinary in November. You voted in record numbers. You voted to improve the lives of every Georgian. And you voted as if your life depended on it. Well, guess what? Now you're going to have to do it again. Come January 5th, you've got to vote in record numbers again. Because, yes, the lives of every Georgian still depend on what you're doing. Yes, you still need to vote as if your life depends on it, because it does. And guess what? You don't have to wait until January 5th to vote. You can vote starting now. Early vote has begun. There's no, no one, that's not one reason here why you should wait to vote. So don't wait. Let me hear how many of you folks have already voted. <clears throat> how many of you are going to vote today? And how many of you have a plan to vote? Get your family members to vote. A friend, a neighbor, a co-worker. Let me hear it. We got to vote. Is Georgia going to break the record for voting in these little state Senate elections? I think so. Now, let me tell you something. There are a lot of folks betting you won't. There are a lot of folks thinking maybe Georgia broke the record for votes for presidential election. But there's no way they'd do it again in this special election for two seats in the United States Senate. Are you ready to prove them wrong? I think you are. I think Georgia is going to shock the nation with the number of people who vote on January the 5th. Am I right, Georgia? Am I right? Well, we've got a lot of work to do. <clears throat> And I plan to get to work right away doing it.